Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a footer like this or even better one or one that you can customize to what you want using Astro. First things first, we have to be uh, logged in back into our WordPress website and we have to have Astro theme number one and we also should have an add-on called Astro Pro. So the Astro Pro uh, brings you a number of features here and uh, today we are going to basically look into the footer widgets and you have to make sure that it is activated. To activate it, you simply click over here and then you have it activated and once you click once again here, you'll have deactivated it. So we simply want it to be activated. Once it's activated, you simply click over here to customize and once we jump into the customizer, then we will be able to choose what kind of footer we want and how to customize it and what is actually going to be in the footer area. So once we are here, then we are going to come to the footer section and we have these options. We have one, we can choose between a number of layouts for our footers. We have where there is no footer, just like this option here. We don't have the footer widgets. And then we have just one single footer widget, two footer widgets, three, four, five and all these other layouts over here we can choose to have either our footer widget to be based on the full width of the website or the content width we can choose to have padding on top bottom and all other sides now these options here they are only brought to you once you have the astro pro add-on and of course we can customize our colors for the background content typography as we are going to see in this tutorial now this is what I roughly created, but I can show you if you don't want to show a footer by simply clicking over here on the layout, we will have disabled a footer on our website. And if I choose only with one widget, then over here we'll be able only to add one widget to our footer section. And uh, if you want to have two, three, it goes back to how you want to set up everything. But in this case, if you want to choose this other widget down here, which is the layout seven, then we will have this kind of column or setup. And then uh, we have the top one, and then we have uh, these other ones over here, which is taking the most space, and this one over here, and this other one over there. I have told you earlier that we can also change the padding settings. For example, here at the top, we have 70%. But let me show you if we make it 170 see how that space is and then we can also maybe make it like 30 percent or like 30 pixels you can also switch between the units of measurements when you're setting up your party i actually prefer to use percentages so here i'll basically use like five percent and the bottom i also use like five percent now of course the bottom is this side over here let me put 15 and you see how that looks like see now i've increased that to 15 and then the top border size this is the top border size over here we can choose that to be something let me say like 10 see how that looks like let me say 100 right i only wanted to have it in only two pixels and then uh, the top border color you can choose the color of your top border from here you can change to any color that you so wish we are leave it in something like that of course the colors and the background so the background is basically everything where our footer widgets is seated from here to the top over here so we can choose this to be any other color that we want to use uh, something we can make it something like that and then we if we want to also use like a background image we can simply select over here and then we can choose a, an image from our library but in this case we don't want to use an image in our footer so when we go down here to typography, we can choose the widget titles. Uh, in this case, it's inheriting the already set typography settings that we made uh, in the customizer. And where is this? This is over here when, when you come over to the customizer directly. And you come straight over here to the global options and typography. And here we have the base typography where we set up our font sizing and all that stuff. So that's where our footer is speaking from. This is where it's inheriting. So for the titles of the widgets over here, we can say we want our widget title sizes to be maybe 30. Look at how they look like. If you want them to be like 15 or 10, something like that. I prefer them to say like a 25. And then you can choose uh, different sizes based on the device. 
Okay, so when we come over here on the tablet, we can maybe make them like 30. That will look so big. We can leave them to be like uh, 25. And on the mobile, you can still make changes to that size, maybe like 20. So when I switch back to the desktop, it will still look really fine. And then here you can choose on the weight, or you can simply say in inherit on how you had set up uh, the title size in, in the typography section. But in case you want to have an, uh, a unique one, you can simply uh, choose a weight over here. Transformation for the title, you can also choose right from there. Um, let me say capitalize or capital case, or simply capitalize. Or simply we inherit from what we had already chosen, the line height and all that stuff. On the other hand, the widget content is what we are showing uh, from the widgets. So here we chose to inherit the font and the sizing. Uh, let me say if we put like 15 over here, that's how it will show up. If we make it like 20, that's how the widget uh, info will be like. But I prefer to use something like maybe 14. I think 15 is better. Okay, so that doesn't look too big and not too small. At the same time, we can also uh, use different sizings uh, on different devices. So let me say 15 over here, I can say again, and uh, here it looks okay on the mobile device. Once you are done with that, you can simply uh, update. But before we do any update, I want to show you how do we get to have these widgets as they are over here. Before I'm going to go back here and choose the layout, which I want to use, which is this one over here. So it's the fourth layout, and that means that I'll be creating something like this. I have this column one, column two, column three, column four, and I have one widget here. In column two, I have two widgets, and column three, one widget, and column four, I have two widgets, but one doesn't have a title. So that's how I come to have this, by choosing the layout four. And how do I choose what appears in which column? So you simply go back over here, and then you simply come over down here to the widgets area. And here by choosing uh, the widgets or the layout for automatically you'll have four widget options over here. And by having them over there, then you can simply click on the first widget area, which is the first widget area here. You can simply add whatever you want. For example, here is a, the about us. You can change that to whatever you want, maybe company. So I rename it and then over here, you can simply enter your company details. Once you're done, you simply uh, update. If you want to add another widget over there, you can simply click over here and then choose uh, a widget from a couple of what is over here. Uh, if you want to make changes, let me say on uh, like this other fourth one. So I'll simply come here to widget area four and you realize I have two widgets already assigned to that. And I have the first one, which is an image widget. I simply came over here to the add widget. Then I searched for image. And once it showed up over there, then I simply added my image widget over there. And then I simply came over here to add image. And then I came over here to the library. And under the library, I came straight down here. I chose my logo. I added the image to the section. I can even add the URL that goes to a specific website over there when someone clicks on that uh, logo. So I simply get this, I come back to my footer section, I add that over there. I'm not going to add a title. You see how it looks like at the moment? This is how it is. The widget, logo, and then I've added the URL. Then I simply update. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to delete this first one so i'll delete this simply remove and then i will rearrange this widget to come on top over there and boom now we have our logo showing up over at there so that's how you can assign which widgets are going to which column in a specific layout that you choose now once you are done assigning which widgets are going where we can simply come back here to our footer area and then we make sure that everything is simply as we want it to be like if you want to increase a bit over here, you can simply add something uh, based on what you want. Maybe I'll make it like five, then you simply hit publish. And once you hit publish, this was the default one. And this is what I had created earlier. But now we are going to see what we have already, all the changes that we have made. 
So once I scroll over down here, you realize that now we have made our changes. We have our logo here and this logo, when someone clicks on it, automatically it's going to go to this URL down here. See, that's where it's going. And this is the URL that we had assigned. We have our sitemap over here and we have all our content over here. So how do you assign actually which colors are going to appear for the links? When we come back here to our customizer and we come here to our colors and background under content, we can choose and say we want our title color to have that color, the text color to have that color and the link color, we want it to maybe be in a separate color. And these are the links over here. And uh, you can simply uh, choose between the colors that are available for you or the one that you wish to use. Uh, once you are done, you simply hit save changes or update. And of course, it will update over here and you have your colors affected. There is one other thing that I need to show you that is called the footer bar. So under the footer area, then you come over here to the footer bar and we can choose what appears under our footer bar. So in this case, we have the first one, but we can also choose the second layout. And this is the first layout. And if we choose a second layout, you'll see that part of the information will appear on the right hand and then the other information will appear on the left hand. And we can also assign what content is going to appear in which section. So there's the first section and the second section. Section one, uh, we are choosing to show text and this is the text that we are basically showing in that section. And under section two, still we are choosing text and this is a information that is going to show right in that section. Now you can change whatever you want. You can assign specific widget to appear in that section. You can assign a footer menu that is going to appear in that section. It all goes back to what you want to assign to that specific section. So I'll simply go back to my text uh, option or I can simply say none. So when you choose none, it, it will mean that in the second section, you won't have any information to show right there. So once I hit publish now, and I come over here to our preview page. Remember that we have decided to use two sections, but the first section is showing this information and the second section, nothing is showing up that side. And this is exactly what is over here. But I wish I prefer to retain the information to appear in the second section. And you simply hit update. If you don't want to show the footer bar anywhere, you simply say none and you won't have the footer bar appear on your website. Just like this over here, you will simply just have your footer with the four widgets area. So I simply prefer to have this uh, layout. And then you can also make changes to your content width of your footer bar, whether you want it to be content width or based on the full width. And then you can also choose the border size on top of here. You can say, I want my border size to be like 10 and it will come over here. And then you can also uh, change uh, to a different border color, you know, some, something like that. Or you can simply enter here the color code, whatever color you want to use. Uh, I prefer not to use a border right there. So I simply just uh, put this to zero. So no border, and then you can also customize the colors for the background of this. This is apparently black. You can change it to the color that you wish to use. And the same, uh, if you want to use uh, an image as the background, then you can uh, choose it over right here. So in a nutshell, that's how you can add a flexible footer and widgets area using the Astra theme and the Astra Pro add-on. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, Please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Goodbye.